What is going on, Minecraft Java Edition players that want to play Minecraft Java Edition with Zaleth Launcher? And you jumped into the game and it looked like Dookie. As you can see here, the game just looks awful, right? Well, today I'm going to show you how to properly fix this with at least most of the devices that have graphical issues such as this. Yeah. Unless you want to play it this way. I don't I don't know why anybody would, but it might be a good challenge to wonder where the heck you're going. Let's jump right into this and learn what is going on here and how to fix it with something called mobile glues. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave the game. I'm using a very, very potato device, by the way. And yeah, this, this device is very low spec. I had to go charging it, seeing if it will actually load. This is called the Retroid Pocket 3. Um, it's basically a, a Tiger or Unisoc chipset with a Power VR GPU or something. I don't even remember what the GPU is on this one, but it has this graphical issue. And I thought I would share this because a lot of people in the Discord and even on the channel are like, 1.2111 isn't working. And you set up mobile glues, like I showed you in my video about how to set up uh, basically Zaleth launcher. But I also mentioned in that video, sometimes this feature is beneficial even without graphical issues like the ones that you just saw on the screen. So first off, go into mobile glues and what you're going to do is click on use angle as the open GL ES driver. And again, some devices benefit from using this. I have a device that I can turn this on, but it doesn't really change anything with the performance or anything like that, or even with shaders or anything. Now, the other thing is there's another feature down here that says angle depth clear workaround, which is right here. You need to turn that on as well, especially with versions above 1.21.5 because some versions cause you to see your hand through the wall and everything. So click okay on that. And then you don't really need to touch anything else here. Now close out of everything, including Zaleth Launcher, and then go back into Zaleth Launcher and then click on launch the game. <clears throat> okay, here we go. So now we're at the Mojang Studios screen and we should be able to jump right into 1.2111. Again, this is only something that's been happening with 1.2111 lately because the mobile glues render hasn't been updated, I think. And I think they need to fix a couple things, but we can go back into our game, the same world that we were just in, and we can see everything properly. And if you still don't see everything properly, I'm sorry, I don't have every device out there, but this should fix that issue that a lot of people have been having lately. And if you have any more issues, you can also jump into the Zealot Launcher Discord. They have a link in their actual app that pops up on the screen that says, hey, join our Discord, and you can just jump right in there. I might start trying to link the Zealot Launcher Discord in the description of these videos as well, just so that you can have it a little bit easier. Or you can jump over to my Discord and ask as well. Again, this this is for like devices that have different GPUs, like Mali GPUs and stuff like that. Now, I think I have my render distance set up really high, so, but you can tell that everything's fixed now. See how it's not graphically broken anymore? I'm gonna change my render distance down here a bit. I was messing around with settings earlier just to see what kind of settings I can get. Oh, maybe my settings aren't very high, but I can change things like my clouds and all that kind of stuff to get better performance. Uh, entity shadows. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do, but you should go watch my video about how to get more FPS, even on a potato, including a device like this with basically out any mods which is linked in the description below. Because as you can see here, it's starting to try to stabilize itself even at four render distance, but that graphical glitch that you're having at the beginning, having, having at the beginning, is not there anymore. And you should be able to play Java Minecraft just fine. I'm using only like 50% resolution scale, but it still looks okay to me. And you can enjoy playing even at 30 FPS with Java Minecraft in my opinion. I don't know what you guys think, but I think 30 FPS is okay, depending on what you're planning on doing. And of course, if you have a really low end device, just a little tip, you could even lower the version down a bit, a couple of versions back, because a lot of people seem to not like this new menu that Minecraft or Mojang has implemented. I, I'm not, you know, really that keen on it myself, but I guess, you know, there's a whole bunch of things that could change. Have a nice day, guys. Hope you subscribed already. If you haven't already done so, don't forget to keep watch on the channel because I give away Java Minecraft accounts every once in a while on the channel. And don't just ask me for a Java Minecraft account. It'll just be there. Watch videos and you could potentially get yourself a Java Minecraft account. Have a nice day. Go enjoy playing Java Minecraft and be on your merry way in this holiday season.